Ciao Bonavita here. In this video, I will be going through lesson 10 from Juan Martin's book, El Arte Flamenco de la Guitarra. That was the first of three Sevianas in the uh, lesson. What I'll do is I'll play each Sevianas first at normal speed, like I just did then, and then I will slow each Sevianas down and talk about whatever I need to talk about. Okay, let's get started. I need to mention that in the book, I feel that he plays it way too fast. What he calls typical speed, that he plays on the accompanying CD for the book, I thought was great, you know, and I learned it and I played it, but when I came to play for dancers, the dancers want it much, much slower. Instead of this furious pace, which he calls typical speed, it's more like this pace. Before I go through everything nice and slow, I should explain the basic structure of the Sibianus. First of all, there's a, a bit of rhythm introduction. Followed by what he calls a salida, which literally means exit. And that salida is a snippet of melody, which is actually, or usually, the final part of the main verse melody. And that verse or copla is repeated three times with an abrupt ending. So, let's, I'll just go through it at a faster speed to show you what I mean. First, the introduction. That's salida, and then a bit more rhythm. And then the copla, which is the main verse. That final bit of melody in the copla is actually a repeat of the salida. So once again the copla. And then the salida. And then a bit more rhythm. And the copla is repeated again. And that happens three times. And at the very end of the third repeat of the copla, which is this, we've got an abrupt ending. So let's go through Sibianus 1 slowly. First we've got the introduction rhythm. The rescuado we use is E-A-M-I. And down and up strokes of the index finger with the golpe occasionally. So we've got those features. E-A-M-I for the uh, rascado and downstroke of the index for the golpe. And we've got a combination of golpe and upstrokes as well. So let's just go through it nice and slow. Coldplay ends like this. In 
index down and cut it off with the palm. Play it, but cut it off real quick. Okay, let's count it nice and slowly. The first thing is the Ruschiato, E-A-M-I. Now the first beat falls on the last stroke of that E-A-M-I. E-A-M is an anacrusis, which falls before the beat. So we've got this one, two, like this. One, two, three, four. All right, let's count it. And there you go. That's it for Sivianus 1. And now Sivianus 2. The chords are A minor and E seventh. First at normal speed. And now let's slow it down. The introductory rhythm is the same as uh, Sibian's one. And now let's count it. One. Uh, what, what can you say? This is basically just using I and M, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to Sivianus 3. The way Juan Martin plays Sivianus 3 in the very beginning is slightly different to the 
other two, said Janus. The difference is so minor, it really doesn't matter. Instead of going at normal speed really fast, he builds up speed like this. <laughs> now, whether you do it like that or not is really beside the point. It doesn't really matter because in, in a dance, when you're playing for dancers, the dancer doesn't actually start doing anything significant until the end of the um, salida. So the introductory section and the salida is they're just messing around with fans and, and just walking around casually. So it's not that important. The structure and the rhythm has to be important, but you know it's not that important, the fact that he does a little build up in the beginning. So whether you do it like this, or whether you do it like this, is up to you, I think. So don't be too sort of hung up with what it says in the music sort of thing. There is a slight difference in measure two of Sibianus three. In the other two Sibianuses, he plays measure two like this. In measure two here, he's got this. Okay, there's another slight difference. So, but don't get hung up. If you want to play it in the same sort of rhythm as the other two Sibianuses, that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to play it exactly as he's played it and exactly as he's written it in Sibianus 3 in the book. So, here we go. Okay, let's go through it slowly. The chords used are E major, and that chord is shifted up one fret, and back down again. Nice and slow. and pull-offs. So we've got hammer-ons and then And that's it for Sibianus 3. I think I want to leave it there. As I said in the beginning of the video, I've made other Sibianus videos. Uh, check them out. The way I play the rhythm in those other videos is different to what he plays in the book. He plays this. Whereas I would probably prefer this. There is a variety of ways you could do this. You don't have to play it exactly like that, the, the actual uh, rhythm, I mean. If you want to just do it in a simple way, you could do this. 
uh, sorry, without Raschiatos. Why not? Or, uh, and you could do it like this, for example. If you want to be really fancy. So don't get too hung up on the actual rhythm, as long as the structure is is uh, uh, is good. Sivianus is the structure is absolutely sacred. You cannot muck around with the structure, but you can play around with the rhythm a little bit. And of course, the the coplas are made up of all sorts of different melodies. There are thousands of them, and you can make up your own. With each Sivianus, you could also create a duet so there's a lot of scope for improvisation and creativity in Sivianus but the structure is absolutely sacred do not muck about with that okay so um, that's it for this video I will see you in the next video see you later